Hey everyone, KB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the CyanogenMod 10 Jelly Bean ROM on your HTC Evo 4G LTE from Sprint. Uh, first of all, you do need to make sure your bootloader is unlocked or you are S off and you do have a custom recovery installed, either Clockwork Mod or Twerp Recovery. Either one works. I personally have Twerp because that is what I prefer. But otherwise, once you do, you're ready to go. You can go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link in the description of the video will take you to this website right here. As you can see, CM10 for the Evo LTE here. First of all, huge shout out and thanks to Kush Deck there, along with a shout out to Toast CFH. Those two have put a lot of work into this. Feel free, you'll, you will see uh, donations are very much appreciated. If you want to show them some thanks, feel free to donate to them. Uh, if you do like their work, of course, they're putting a lot of time and effort into this. But otherwise, let's go ahead and we need to download two files. Actually, you will see where it says download and G apps. You need to download both of those files. So go ahead and click on the download. That's the ROM itself. And then the G apps is the Google apps add-on, including things such as the Play Store and other Google apps as well. So download both of those files. They're both going to be zip files. Transfer both of those zip files over to your phone, whether it be on your internal or external storage. Either one works. Uh, but once you transfer them on over, you can go back to your phone. And once you have those zip files on your phone, both the ROM zip and the Google Apps add-on zip, uh, we are ready to go. We, go. we are going to need to get into our custom recovery. So if your ROM has the option, just go ahead and hit restart recovery or go ahead and go into the bootloader and select recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and let this manual uh, automatically reboot me into my custom recovery. All right, you will see team win right there. Recovery loading on up. Let it go on up. And now what we are going to need to do is, first of all, I highly recommend making an Android backup. So go ahead and go to the backup menu and make an Android backup of your current setup. In case anything goes wrong, you can restore that Android backup. I already have one, so I'm not going to make one. But uh, once you have an Android backup, you're ready to go. Go ahead and go into the wipe menu, and we are going to need to do a factory reset. And then go ahead and hit swipe to wipe. Uh, it'll go ahead and do a factory reset. So again, make sure you have all your apps, contacts, etc., backed up whether it be tit using titanium backup or anything like that. Once done there, go ahead and hit back. Go ahead and select cache and wipe your cache as well. Once that's done, hit back. Go to Dalvik cache and wipe your Dalvik cache as well. Then hit back and then go to system and go ahead and hit wipe there. Go ahead and wipe your system as well. So once that's done, you can hit back hit the back arrow once more and now we are ready to install go ahead and go to the install button and we are going to either hit use external SD or internal wherever you put that ROM zip itself so now go ahead and find that CM10 ROM zip go ahead and select it and once you make sure you selected the right file go ahead and hit swipe to confirm flash it's gonna go ahead and load up the ROM zip and install it for you it'll take a little bit of time so be patient with it I'm gonna let it install and I will be back once it's done all right, and once the ROM zip is done installing, you will see successful. We're not done yet. Go ahead and hit the home button and then go back to install. And then go ahead and find that G apps add on, that Google apps add on, that G apps JB. Go ahead and select the zip file and then go ahead and swipe to confirm flash. It's going to go ahead and install that Google apps add on, including the Play Store, uh, Google Talk, all those good Google apps. It won't take nearly as long as the ROM zip, as you can see. So it says successful and we are done. So now we are fully done. Go ahead and hit Reboot System, and once our phone boots up, we will be running the CyanogenMod 10 ROM on our HTC Evo 4G LTE. The first boot up is gonna take a little bit of time since it's a clean ROM install. Subsequent boot ups will not take nearly as long. So go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys check out the boot animation, but I'm gonna be doing a separate review video going over things such as bugs and, and different things as well, different features. So definitely check out the review video, but let's check out the boot animation. So there it is. Obviously the new Signage Mod 10 boot animation, very cool there. Uh, I do like it a lot myself. But there we have it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.